What's up baseball fans, welcome to an MLB lockout presentation of ranking every single logo. The last time I ranked logos was in another downtime in baseball, the 2020 spring quarantine. So uh, that video, I just kind of took my favorite logo uh, for every team and a lot of it was just like the um, just like the abbreviation logos, like the one letter, two letter logos. But now I wanted to make it kind of more fair. And I would even pick my favorite color scheme. So that was just kind of unfair. But this one, we're going to see some logos that uh, maybe you didn't expect to be considered the main logo for a team. But this is the official main logo for each team that appears on the MLB app. So we're going to rank all 30 of them. Subscribe if you like baseball because I sure do. And I think you'll like upcoming content coming on this channel. And it all really starts with this one. Man, I'm going to set some fan bases off, make some fan bases feel so good. And it all starts right now, number 30 on my list. This same team got ranked number one in my last logo ranking video. But things are different now. We're going with the white background uh, and the official main logo. Uh, it's all the way down from 1 to 30, and that's the Pittsburgh Pirates. I mean, I cannot take a letter P in yellow very very seriously number 29 a logo that i don't even know what to say i've just always hated and that's the cincinnati reds logo i'm sorry reds fans i don't know what to tell you about that one i just don't like it just it has a lot of white in the middle of it that says reds it's just not good i prefer their other version that looks like the chicago bears number 28 on my list my favorite team the new york yankees because I don't know why, but this is technically the official logo of the New York Yankees, which is, like, I'm literally staring at the back of my phone case at their good logo, their NY good logo, but instead they choose to make this technically their main logo, and it just gives me absolutely zero New York vibes. It's not 30 because, you know, it has some stuff going on in it, but white and red, yuck. Number 27 on my list is the Minnesota Twins. What could I say? It's uh, There's going to be some circle logos on this list. As you saw with the Yankees, though, that one had a bat coming out of it. This Twins one is one of quite a few just circle logos, but when you have a circle logo, it says baseball club on the bottom, which is very underwhelming. Uh, and then it says, not only is it a circle logo with white in the middle, it says your team name across, just not good. Number 26, this team's official logo is actually... Their, uh, their, you know, city two-letter thing, and that's the Padres with that brown logo. Uh, I, I like it a little better in gold, but either way, without an outline, something like this is pretty bland. Number 25, another circle logo. We got the Oakland Athletics. I really don't know much of anything to say about this logo. Number 24, I don't really know why this is this team's official logo, but it's the Atlanta Braves. Uh, it just says Braves across like a bunch of teams have this logo but not as their main official logo so it's not towards the very bottom because it does have the chop thing but um, in terms of uh, main logo I don't like the script all right we're not bashing too much because we're out of like bottom tier logos here or technically uh, there was only four um, the twins were the last of my very bottom tier but now we're um, still tr cruising along that second to last tier logos that are not terrible. Uh, they're getting a little better. That's the Houston Astros. Still pretty bad because, you know, Circle logo um, has that symbol in the middle. What could I say? Number 22, the newest logo in the game, the Cleveland Guardians logo. Now, I do not understand. I, I'm, I can't say I don't understand. I know exactly why. People are commenting on Instagram and all over social media as you would expect how bad this logo is just because it's new and that it feels like a triple a logo that's what people would say for any logo in the game because you're not familiar with an mlb team using it as your logo now it is still 22 for me it's not like i went putting it in the top half but uh it has a chance to make its way up if i see it being used in the world series as it becomes feeling more main i get that feeling but that doesn't mean it's just a terrible logo Number 21, we got the Chicago Cubs. Now, Cubs stuff as a whole is top 20, but in terms of this logo, like a circle, a C says Cubs. I've just never been a fan of it. As you guys could tell, towards the end of this list, like you'll see I don't hate all circle logos, but for the most part, they're just not that good. I don't like most of them. 
squeezing their way into the top 20, the Colorado Rockies. Now, if there's a worse background, the Rockies, this logo I tend to dislike, but as a whole, this logo right here, as you see, gives me some pretty solid vibes. Number 19, I've been pretty down on their stuff, um, but, you know, okay, it's the Los Angeles Angels. Uh, you know, you have that halo on it, which is pretty much, this, this is very good for just like a one-letter logo. Number 18, we got the Detroit Tigers. People always be hyping up that old English D, and I am a bigger fan of it on hat than I am on their white jersey because their white jersey, literally just a whole white jersey with just that on it just isn't enough for me. Uh, nor really is this logo giving me amazing vibes, but that being said, it was going to be in the 20s, but, you know, I'm just thinking about these logos playing against the Yankees in the Bronx, and the Tigers bringing this logo into the Bronx gives me some really decent vibes. In the hat, I think Tigers have a borderline top 10 hat to me. Hat, hat is probably coming, ranking hats. I mean, I have maybe like 10 team hats. The Tigers have got to be somewhere within the next five. Number 17, Tampa Bay Rays. I've really never had an issue with this logo. I don't know what to say about it, really. Like, it's, there is white, but, like, the shape of it is just very intriguing. It's obviously a baseball field. Just pretty cool, I guess. Number 16, a logo that was going to be further down. This fan base already hates me. It's the Seattle Mariners logo. It ain't top half, but... I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Mariners fans, if there is any watching. It's um, actually pretty good colors, and that little, you know, the thing that points to directions in the middle, I don't hate it nearly as much as I thought. Squeeze it into that top half. A circle logo. One of my favorite all-time teams, the Washington Nationals. Um, yeah, we got the curly W in the middle of this logo. Not a ton to say. Not elite or anything like that, but... You know, I, I think it's fairly solid. Number 14, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is the Dodgers' technically main logo. Um, it's in interesting that the Dodgers have some red in their color, which, I mean, what's more interesting is that the Yankees have, like, a lot of red in, like, their main logo because anything else Yankees, you don't really see an ounce of red anywhere. But in terms of this Dodgers logo, what could I say? Pretty solid. Number 13, just beating out their division rival Dodgers. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks. You ought to give some respect to this logo. It represents who the Diamondbacks are pretty well. And I don't mean in the Diamondbacks being a horrible team way. I mean like it represents the good vibe of the Diamondbacks when they're flourishing pretty well. Number 12, a very similar logo to the Dodgers. That's the Kansas City Royals. I felt like those two had to be super close on the list. We squeezed the D-backs in between them. This Royals won a tad better than the Dodgers because of the gold crown, but very similar. Number 11, just outside the standard postseason format of logos, that's the Miami Marlins. The Marlins logo is pretty good. I like logos, obviously, who wouldn't, that have something to do with your actual team, and this has the fish. Cracking that top 10, the Milwaukee Brewers and their glove logo. I mean, listen, guys, this can't be, like, so elite, okay? It is a glove. It's pretty simple, but I do think it's pretty cool to be able to associate a glove. Like, every team has is has a glove because it's the sport of baseball. Every team uses gloves, but when you have a glove that you could associate with your own team, I think that's pretty cool. Um, this is a wild card type of logo. Number nine, we got the Toronto Blue Jays logo. Now, this would probably be even higher if we were just talking every team's like simpler logo because their simpler logo would be this blue jay just without the background stuff a circle logo making the top 10 is always very impressive so just think about it who the heck is left and like yo file some intrigue there's some interesting stuff coming up if you're enjoying the video obviously smash that like button it means a ton to the growth of this channel subscribe to the channel turn on that bell how else are you gonna know when i drop another intriguing topic video Number eight, winning the American League Central of logos. That is the Chicago White Sox now. Back in 2020, I got, I got some bash for people saying that I didn't put the White Sox in my top 10 hats in a top 10 hats video that I made, and I didn't. 
but um, I might, I might not next time I rank hats. But in terms of this logo, it's top 10 for me. Number 7, arguably my favorite National League team. That's the San Francisco Giants. This is the Giants' main logo. Um, I like baseballs, and I love the color orange and black, and I like their font. So that means that it wins the NL West of logos. Number six, taking on the AL West of logos. That's the Texas Rangers, the best circle logo in the game, in my opinion. I feel like people might disagree with this one, but guess what? I've always been a sucker for Rangers stuff until they change some stuff in 2020 with like that new stadium and those new home jerseys i'm not as big a fan and i'm like watching a game at um the the old texas stadium was just so amazing whereas watching a game at the new one like the 2020 world series is a very very horrid like grass and lighting something like that um in terms of the palace as a whole for the stadium it's very good but in terms of watching a game it's just not very um, pleasant to the eye, uh, but this logo has everything to do with the older Texas vibes, um, vibes that they still rock in some of their jerseys and hats. You know, the the blue and the red um, in both in a color logo, that's like the only um, circle logo, I should say, that actually breaks up into two colors, and of course, a nice Texas logo in the middle. Top five for me honestly wasn't even that hard to pick what was in the top five. Uh, ranking the top five is gonna be a challenge, but in terms of what I had to put in it, not that hard. Number five, Cardinals. Uh, like I said, I like when your logo represents uh, your team name, and the Cardinals obviously do that here. Number four, I hate to do it, but it is the Boston Red Sox. Their sock logo is very, very. Um, you easily pointed out it's just very baseballish, very, very main. It's just very good. Number three, one of the newest logos in the game. Technically their main logo now, that's the Phillies. I really like the blue bell and the script going across it. Good summer night vibes in Philly. We got the top two at number two. The Baltimore Orioles. Obviously great at representing their team name. The bird, I'm a Big sucker for the color of orange. Um, orange and black, great vibes in Baltimore. Number one, the winner of the whole list and the World Series champion of main logos. And that's the New York Mets. I mean, how would I not love this logo? Okay, just hear me out. Like, orange and blue, my all-time favorite color combination, okay? Like, that has always been my colors and my favorite city in the world in the background i mean this is just like just like flooding with orange and blue and just like amazing with the skyline like i never saw a better skyline in a logo before new york mets and this is technically a circle logo so the rangers was not the best circle logo new york mets are the winners and the champions of this list stay tuned for the next list maybe your your team will perform a little bit better or take a big step back